So, my youngest um, was born with his spinal cord attached to his L5 vertebrae. And at the bottom of his spinal cord was a cyst filled with spinal fluid. Um, he has spina bifida occulta. Now, six years ago, almost to the day, um, they did major spine surgery to t release the tethered spinal cord and to remove the cyst. When he did that, he was put on a heavy barrage of antibiotics because the last place you want an infection to form is in the spinal cord. Um, and the surgery turned out great. He is a relatively healthy um, boy. He's now six and a half years old and uh, he's doing great. You would never know that um, he had spina bifida except for the massive like three inch scar on his back. Um, now, starting about, I don't know, maybe two, three years ago, um, my son started complaining of stomach pain and it was really intermittent. Um, so for a little while, I didn't think much of it until, um, it started becoming more constant. So we took him to the doctors. Um, they first wanted us to put him on acid blockers because they assumed it was acid reflux. Then, um, they wanted us to put him on probiotics because they figured maybe, he, you know, he just had some stomach issues. Now, fast forward two years and we still didn't have a cause for his stomach pain. This is also after several trips to the ER due to severe pain and many, many trips to his pediatrician. They... Um, kept trying to just treat the stomach pain without actually coming up with a reason. Um, during this time, my mom had been talking to her boss, who is a doctor, um, you know, telling her bits and pieces about his stomach pain. Um, and with his pediatrician, the next step was a GI doctor. Now, Ethan has been poked and prodded many, many times since birth for the last six years. And I didn't want to take him to a GI doctor because he's been probed and prodded so many times. And I just had this gut feeling that a GI doctor wasn't going to find, um, what was wrong with him, you know, that what was wrong with him, um, was beyond the scope of a regular GI doctor. Now on Saturday, I went to go work with my mom and her boss and about 20 minutes before I got there, my mom and her boss were randomly talking about Ethan and his spine surgery and it clicked with her why he was having stomach pain. Um, when you're five months old is when you start to grow the bacteria in your stomach that's needed to break down and digest food, both good and bad bacteria. Um, at five months old, or just before five months old, he had spine surgery and was put on a heavy dose of antibiotics. These antibiotics essentially killed most of the bacteria in his stomach, effectively making it so that he could not produce um, the bacteria, the good bacteria he needed in his stomach to promote good health and digestion. Now, after two years of hearing bits and pieces, it finally clicked with her um, that that's exactly what happened. Now we are going to start, I'm going to start making my own kefir milk for him and actually for the entire family. And we're going to start drinking that because that actually has the bacteria in it um, that should help his stomach um, be able to process you know, foods, and so his digestion becomes regular and, and help him not get sick as much. Um, what concerns me is 
a lot of medical professionals nowadays want to just treat the symptoms without finding um, the cause for the issues. Now, he has had the same pediatrician since birth. Don't get me wrong. I love her to death. And for most issues, she is amazing. Um, but what kills me is knowing his file and um, knowing all the pain he's in, she didn't take the time to go look back at his file and and put two and two together. Now, when my mom's boss told me what it was, it was one of those, oh my God, are you kidding me? Why didn't I put two and two together? Um, and of course I wouldn't. Um, what I'm studying is, you know, psychology. So my limited um, knowledge of child development is deals with the brain, not the body. But it's one of those that it's when she said that he doesn't have the bacteria that he needs to break down foods and to, you know, pass gas regularly or poop regularly. It was like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. Um, basically, I'm, I'm posting this video and telling my story um, in hopes that more people will ask questions or force their doctors to find the answers why things are happening instead of letting them just medicate the, the symptoms. Um, it took two years for us to realize what's wrong with him. And I, I plan on recording our journey using kefir milk and, and letting you know what it does for him, um, and our whole family. But, um, even when I do get to grad school in a couple years, I plan on doing my dissertation on a subject that would, at least in the state of Arizona, um, help psychologists be able to um, find the causes for issues and treat the causes instead of just treating the symptoms. Um, I really think we, I know, I know there are some doctors who actually are, do take the time to find causes and treat the causes. Um, I'm just hoping that maybe one of these days we'll get back to that where more doctors take the time to find the causes instead of just treating the symptoms and moving on. Um, yeah, I, uh, I hope you have a good day. Thanks.